the word cult was not even really accessible to me for a long time because they redefined that word for me. And when I heard the word cult, a lot of people would say a cult is anything that does not have our ideology and is not, I'm trying to think of the word, is not orthodox. Anything that's not orthodox is a cult. And they would focus on the beliefs versus the actions and the control. And sometimes beliefs can be toxic, but a lot of times everybody, people can have the correct beliefs, even a very liberal PC environments where everybody's doing and saying the quote right thing, there can still be toxic abusive elements in those environments. Right. I'm just curious, was the word cult used the way we're using it, which is like high control group using these tactics, or was it something else based? That's a, it's a tricky question. And we did this when we were in the cult. We would drag things into a definitions semantics game so that we could feel better about ourselves, mm-hmm. most absolutely notably in, in a cult. And if the word cult came up, no, we're not a cult because, and we would reframe what cult is so that we wouldn't, the term cognitive dissonance, right? You hear something and you're like, this makes me uncomfortable. What do you do with that? That's the high level definition of cognitive dissonance. We did a lot of amazing things to get around our own cognitive dissonance. And look, we, the group was kicked off campus and people came to us and said, dude, you're in a cult. And no, not us. And because we would reframe things and ultimately, can I say like the SBC church was a cult? Again, it's going to get dragged into semantics where it's more valuable. And you just made this point and it's what is the effect it's having on other people and cult being a loaded word, just it's almost obsolete technology. It's almost obsolete language that we've robbed it of even knowing what that means. Moving to a paradigm like high control that shifts the focus to what is the effect it's having on other people, which is very valuable. It's just as an example, a practical one of. The kid doesn't get in the car. I may use different techniques with the same result. And in a church or a religious group, I may use the same techniques and be getting different results. Common religious teaching is looking at the fruit coming from the tree, right? And that's almost a better approach when looking at the environment and the effect it's having on others. Because looking at the fruit or looking at the effect this group or religious church or fill in the blank. It could be a country club or it could be anything. It could be harming people by the techniques that not just individuals, but may be a, an entire environment. It may be built from the ground up on certain principles that can be deemed harmful and stuff. So it really is important. One is breaking down the language and two is shifting the focus from the institution down to what I'll say the fruit. 